Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, the Bearded Realtor here. I am here with the beautiful little Gabriella Gonzalez. And are you thinking about moving to Denver or maybe you currently live in the Denver area and you're wondering what fun family activities there are to do in Denver? Well, you're in luck. Today, me and Gabriella are gonna talk about our favorite family activities in the Denver area. So let's hang out. Hey guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, the Bearded Realtor here. If you've seen one of my videos before in the past, welcome back. If you're checking out my video for the first time, make sure that you click the subscribe button below so that way you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Along with that, as much as I love doing these videos, I love helping people find their dream home even more. So if you have any questions about the real estate market, make sure you call the number below. I also will have my email, it's my personal cell phone. I answer it all the time. So if you have any questions about the market, interested in buying or selling a home, definitely feel free to reach out to me. So with that being said, Broncos still don't have a head coach, but your predict my bold prediction, Sean Payton is coming to Denver. Nikolai Jokic is still dominating for the Nuggets. So um, that's one of my quick sports highlights. Um, you guys might notice that I, I have a new person here today. Um, my beautiful daughter, Gabriella. I know she's adorable. Um, this is her first time in front of a video, so be gentle to her in the comments. Um, I don't know how much she's going to talk. Yeah, you could say something. Um, I didn't do any bales today, or any. I didn't do any bales like all day. All day, she hasn't done any videos. Um, so we're gonna sit here. We're gonna talk about our favorite family activities in the Denver area. Um, for the sake of her attention span and probably your attention span, we'll try and keep this pretty quick. So we're going to go over three of our favorite activities to go to in the Denver area. So let's hang out. All right. The first place that we are going to talk about is the Denver Aquarium. So the Denver Aquarium is so much fun. It's just west of downtown Denver off of I-25 and 23rd Avenue. Um, so nice, easy location. Um, to get a ticket for the aquarium, you're looking at about $26.50 for an adult and $20 for a kid. Or if you are probably going to go multiple times throughout the year, a family membership for four is $179. So um, do you love going to the aquarium? Yeah. Yeah? Who do you normally go to the aquarium with? Like my grandpa and my Gigi. Your Gigi brings you, uh, she'll bring you to the aquarium whenever you want, huh? So the aquarium's a lot of fun. They also have a restaurant in there. It's a Landry restaurant. Um, and there's a lot of toys in there. Th there are a lot of toys. So of course they have you go through the gift shop at the end, um, just like all places. Along with that, they have a 4D theater. You can swim with the sharks. Um, there's a lot of really fun exhibits. There's a lion there. So Yeah, I know, I like the lion. Like the lion. So. If you time it correctly, you can get a really cool picture of your kid with the lion. There is a protective glass between the lion and your child, so your your child will be safe. Um, but there's a lot of other really fun things. There's like dolphins, there's stingrays, there's so many colorful fish. And, and yeah, and here's some Nemo fish. There's Nemo, if you can find Nemo, that's a lot of fun. Oh, Dory. And Dory. So um, along with that, I just found out that there is apparently a whole kid's play place behind the restaurant. Apparently it's kind of secret. Um, I haven't confirmed this, but if you check it out, yeah. Probably say someplace fish. Yes. Um, so there's like a outside, there's like a merry-go-round, and there's like a movie fair. So like, you watch two movies. We have Scoopy, and, um, and there's a, like, a dolphin movie you can watch, and here's a tears move, and in each of your legs, it gets you tickling. <laughs> That's a part of the 4D experience, it tickles your legs. So, um, the first one is the Denver Aquarium. The next place that we are going to talk about is the Denver Zoo. And so, the zoo is a lot of fun because it's just gigantic, it's a great zoo. Um, it's east of Denver, off of um, Colorado Boulevard and 23rd Avenue. Um, so the zoo is absolutely unbelievable. For an adult, you can get a ticket for 
about $22 a kid. You're looking at about 16 for a family membership. It's about $195. And there's a lot of really, really fun exhibits, huh? So um, we love the zoo. So that's one of our favorites. They also do the zoo lights, um, which I've talked about in previous videos as well. They have several different food stands. So what are your favorite animals at the zoo? Um, like, um, like elephants. Love the elephants. There's an elephant exhibit. Um, they're coming out with a penguin exhibit. They're coming out with a stingray exhibit. Um, so there's a lot of just endless amounts of exhibits that you can go to. Um, obviously, the downside of the zoo would be if it is cold out, then um, you know it's not really necessarily year-round. So it's probably more of a spring, summertime, fall type of place to go to. Um, but the Denver Zoo is definitely one of our, our favorite places as well. The last place that we are going to talk about is the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Yep. Yep. So that's one of our favorites because um, I think the Denver Museum gives you your best bang for your buck. It's going to be about $23 for an adult, $18 for a kid, or you can get an annual membership for $119. So the two parents and the kid are going to go. If you go twice, you're probably um, going to get your money's worth. Um, the only downside of the museum is really there's not like great food options. They have a cafeteria, but I think their food's mediocre at best. But the zoo, I mean, the museum, you can literally hang out there like all day. We'll go and spend four or five hours there and not even think twice. Like the aquarium, you might only be there for like an hour max. Um, museum, the zoo, you can spend a couple hours there. The museum, it's nice. It's indoors. You can go there any time of the year. They've literally got three different levels of fun and learning. So it's just a ton of different animal exhibits that you can go to. There's a space exhibit, there's a rock exhibit. Um, there's a whole just revolving line of different seasonal exhibits that they do as well. So it's really fun. There's a, a dinosaur exhibit as well. So we love the dinosaur exhibit, huh? So, sorry, we're uh, battling for the tape, but what's your favorite part of the museum? kids areas. She loves the kids areas. There's two different kids areas that we'll literally go to two or three times each. There's one that's more of a health center, tells you how to be healthy and everything. And there's another one that is um, kind of more of a discovery area. You can kind of dig for fossils. There's a whole water thing. You can build different things. So it's, it's a lot of fun. There's also a giant screen with a projector that shows the kids up on it. So it looks like there's dinosaurs walking around them and she'll spend hours there. So, um, Denver yeah, Museum. Like dinosaurs, things you could see on the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna get attacked by a dinosaur, but it's just pretend, huh? Yes, it's pretend. Um, so along with that, there's a planetarium and there's a new Infinity Theater. So formerly known as the IMAX, this was the original IMAX before every AMC theater had them. But now there's an infinity theater, so apparently the screen is like better quality, better sound. Um, they always have fun learning videos there. Um, I think the last one we tried to go through, she maybe made it through like five minutes. So you do have to pay separately for those things, but they're definitely a lot of fun as well. So um, for me, I think if you're going to go to a place, I personally would probably choose the museum just because there's so many things to do and it's indoors, temperature controlled. Days like today when it's uh, 25 degrees, it's one of your better options. So those are our three favorite places to go in the Denver area. Okay, so Gabriella would like to tell you guys what her favorite is of those three. Um, I love the aquarium. So the aquarium is her favorite, museum is mine, but we'll go to either. So um, with that being said, you guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't had a chance yet, make sure that you subscribe to my channel as I do post new videos every week all about living in the Denver area. If you have any questions about real estate, make sure that you give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. I do have my phone on me all the time. So hopefully you guys learned something new about a fun family activity that you guys can do and you guys enjoy that, those activities as much as we do. Yep. So the Bearded Realtor, signing off.